This video is about mathematical operations on complex numbers, or in other words, how to do math with complex numbers. How do you add and subtract these numbers or multiply these numbers? Complex numbers are our numbers, so we can do math with them. We can add them, we can subtract them, that sort of thing, and that's what we're talking about here. The first thing we'll discuss is the concept of equality which is really kind of trivial, but we need to do it just for the sake of completeness. If we have two complex numbers like this, a plus bi and c plus di, so two complex numbers in standard form, each complex number, remember, has a real part and an imaginary part, these two numbers will be equal only if the real parts are both equal to each other and the imaginary parts are both equal to each other. In other words, for these to be the same number, A has to equal C and B has to equal D. And that should be pretty obvious. They're only going to be equal if they are, in fact, the same number, if these things are the same. A, A and C have to be the same and B and D have to be the same. So equality is pretty trivial. Adding and subtracting complex numbers is pretty easy also. Here's an example involving addition of complex numbers. Suppose we have this 3 minus i, that's a complex number, plus 8 plus 5i, another complex number. So how do I add these? Well to add these I simply add the real parts, so I have a 3 and an 8. When I add those up that gives me 11. and I add the imaginary parts. I have a negative i, don't forget the negative sign, and a 5i. And when I add negative i and 5i, that gives me 4i. So 11 plus 4i is my answer. That's in standard form. And subtraction is very, very similar. Subtraction of complex numbers. Let's look at this example. Uh, 8 minus 6i, there's one complex number, minus this one, 2 minus 4i. So one complex number minus another. While you do this, uh, again, pretty intuitively, you deal with the real parts and with the imaginary parts. Just keep track of all these negative signs. So I'm going to rewrite this with the parentheses gone. I'm going to write 8 minus 6i minus 2 plus 4i. This minus sign right here got distributed. It made that 2 a negative and it made this negative 4i positive. So I just distributed that negative sign. And now I can think of simplifying this in, in the same way as I would uh, simplify an expression by combining like terms. The 8 and the negative 2 go together. In other words, the real parts get combined, and that gives me a, a 6. 8 and negative 2 give me 6. And then the negative 6i and the 4i get combined. In other words, the imaginary parts get combined. And negative 6i and positive 4i is negative 2i. So that's my answer, 6 minus 2i. And that should make sense. If I add two complex numbers, the result is typically a complex number. And if I subtract two complex numbers, the result is typically a complex number. Now let's look at multiplication of complex numbers. And here are two examples. In this first case, I have 3i multiplied by 2 plus 4i. So this number here, 3i, doesn't have a real part. It's what we call a pure imaginary number, and that's okay. I'm going to multiply that, 3i, by this, 2 plus 4i. And to do this, you can think of this as distributing. I'm going to take the 3i, and I'm going to distribute it here. I'm going to multiply 3i times 2, and 3i times 4i. So when I do that, the 3i times 2 gives me a 6i, and then when I multiply the 3i times the 4i, I get a plus 12i squared. And whenever you do this, whenever you're multiplying complex numbers, you ha have the possibility of this i squared showing up. And just remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. Remember how i is defined. i is the square root of negative 1. So i squared has to be negative 1. 
So this becomes 6i plus 12 times negative 1. That i squared is that negative 1 right there. And so I'm going to rewrite this as negative 12 plus 6i, and that's in standard form now. The a plus bi form. Let's look at this, this example over here on the right. 6i times 5i. Well, both of these are pure imaginary numbers, 6i and 5i. Neither of those have a real part, and that's okay. When I multiply, I'm going to get 30i squared. And again, just remember that, that i squared is negative 1, so this is just 30 times negative 1, or negative 30. My result in this case is just a real number. There's no imaginary part, and that's okay also. When I multiply 6i times 5i, the result is negative 30. Here are a couple of more multiplication problems. In this first one, 2 plus 3i times 5 minus 2i. Notice that both of these look like binomials. They're not really. Each of these is just a number. This is a complex number, and that's a complex number. But we can treat these like binomials, and we can multiply them using the FOIL technique, first, outer, inner, last. So let's do that here. The first, I have 2 times 5. That gives me 10. And then the outer, I have 2 times minus 2i. That gives me a minus 4i. And then the inner two terms, I have 3i times 5. That's a positive 15i. And then the last two terms here, the 3i times the negative 2i is negative 6i squared. And then let's just simplify this. I'll keep that 10 there. And then this minus 4i plus 15i becomes plus 11i. And this i squared, remember, is negative 1. So I have minus 6 times negative 1. And this is minus a negative 6 right there. So that's going to be the same as plus 6. That last term is plus 6. So combined with that 10, that gives me a 16 plus 11i. So that's my answer, 16 plus 11i. I multiplied two complex numbers, and I got a complex number answer. And let's look at this last example, 3 plus 4i times 8 plus 2i. And again, we'll uh, do a FOIL. So first, 3 times 8 is 24. And then the outer two terms, I have 3 times 2i. That is a positive 6i. And then the inner two terms, 4i times 8. That's a positive 32i. And then the last two terms, 4i times 2i is plus 8i squared. And let's simplify this a little bit. I'll keep this 24, and then 6i plus 32i is 38i. And then 8i squared, remember that i squared is the same thing as negative 1. So I have a, a negative 8 right there. And the 24 and the negative 8 give me a 16 and then I have my 38i. So 16 plus 38i is my answer. So that's multiplication of complex numbers. Now, n complex numbers can be divided also. It's a little bit trickier, but still not too bad. We'll talk about division of complex numbers when we talk about complex conjugates, which is coming up in just a few minutes.